welcome to next air station. This time I have a beer from Spar Supermarket. Super Strength Lager. 7.5%. Well, it is a strength lager, but super strength? Mm, no. I had much stronger lagers um, than this one, so a little bit of exaggeration here. Strong, yes. But super strong? No, if it would be like in the range of 9-10%, yes, I would say super strong, but 7.5. Nah. Strong lager with a refreshing taste, made with British malted barley. Okay, brewed in Britain for a full flavor. Uh, if it's something brewed outside the... Uh, Britain, it's not for full flavor. Strange. Anyway, contains gluten derived from wheat and barley. Brewed and canned in the UK for Spa UK. Okay, that's what we know. Nothing else. A red beer says this beer was brought by Cameron. Maybe, why not? But they don't have super strength lager themselves. But everything is possible, definitely. Um, so let's open this and have a try. Well, multi. Some herbal accents, but uh, tiny, tiny. Let's pull it out and uh, maybe it will be a bit more there. Right. Pale straw color, clear. Huge head. But nice. Small and medium bubbles. It looks so thick. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Those small bubbles are changing into medium bubbles. And medium bubbles are changing into big bubbles. But still, so far is okay. Oh well, some herbal accents from hops, a little bit of um, wet cardboard, lemon, maltiness. Well, it's not so bad, definitely. Okay, let's have a try. Definitely full and malty, some sweetness. Some bitterness. Not so strong, but definitely you can feel it. Um, straight away, a little bit herbal with some metallic accents uh, lemon notes well you know what, it's, it's, it's okay so far uh, metallic aftertaste let's check for the skin test no problems um, so if there are some metallic notes, they are from hops. Great, we have hops here. Good. Uh, lemon accents keeps this beer refreshing enough. Um, but like I said, it's quite malty, heavier, alcohol. On a start is okay. Then you have warming sensation in your throat, uh, some off flavors. Uh, makes it makes it make it uh, making this experience a bit alcoholic uh, but still it's not so bad first impression is all right um, then it's a little bit complicated but I think the main issue is uh, cardboard in aroma definitely 
Oh yes. Uh, but the rest is moderate and okay. Well, okay. Like you can see, I'm not impressed, right? Uh, but it's not bad as well. Um, it's okay-ish. Um, drinkable. But it's not a beer that I would come back, you know, and buy again and, uh, you know, enjoy. Uh, maybe if it would be chilled, you know, quite in, into quite low temperature, but then you would not get any flavors. It is a you know, <laughs> well known trick. Um, well, definitely, I was drinking uh, in the past much better strong uh, lagers than this one but this one it's not the worst so you can check it out if you want if you want to to have uh, such a you know experience with strong lagers um but i still think that the european strong lagers are better <laughs> especially eastern european Okay, um, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed this beer, but I, I hope the quality of the video is much better than this beer. Please like it, and uh, please subscribe my channel, and when you've done it already, hit the notification button in the shape of the bell. It will remind me about every new video on the channel, so you'll be up to date, and because of this you will not miss any new degustations. Cheers!